Oh, Marcus Conti reporting from my grandma's basement. Big news, big news for Paul Manafort and uh, Jerome Corsi and Oliver Stone. <laughs> I mean, Roger Stone. Trump says, breaking news in New York Post. Trump says, pardon for Paul Manafort still a possibility. And, and, it's a big and in there. He never, he says also, he names all three. <laughs> he names Corsi and, uh, and, uh, and Stone, Roger Stone, right? Can you imagine how happy fucking you could you could get Corsi right now is like I can't believe the fucking president is fucking naming me oh, shit. You know? Like that's that's Corsi's dream, right? He's got the president of the United States talking about his case <coughs> inside of the Oval Office. That is some shit right there, man. Congratulations, no, uh, Jerome Jerome Corsi. Congratulations, man. And fucking Paul Manafort's got to be happy. Paul's like, fucking, thank you, President fucking Trump, man. I don't want to go to fucking jail. You're letting these guys out of jail. I'm going to fucking get my ass fucking whipped in jail. All right, Paul, you took a hit for the team. You took a hit. You took a hit for the team, Paul. You're a good guy. Don't worry about it. fucking thank you, Donald Trump. Thank you, President fucking Trump. Love you, Trump. I love you, President. <laughs> so it was a happy day. Let's read the article. Mm. So <coughs> Trump, excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, cat. I just coughed on the cat. He's never discussed a pardon for Paul Manafort, Trump said Wednesday, but it's not off the table. It was never discussed, but I wouldn't take it off the table, <laughs> says it twice. Why would I take it off the table, says it three times. The president said during an Oval Office interview, <laughs> he ripped special counsel Robert Mueller's probe and charged that Manafort former political advisor Roger Stone and Stone's associate Jerome Corsi were all asked to lie by special counsel. Oh, fucking get out of jail free. Huh? Trump's got their back. Huh? So Paul Manafort, uh, he, you know, he, he goes through the, uh, he goes through the motions and they, 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 you know, they give him a year or two or whatever the fuck they give him, right? And Trump, and Trump steps in and, and pardons him. But it's also, I mean, this is, I mean, Jerome Corsi's, you know, his fucking his little dick just got hard, right? <laughs> right? Right? The President of the United States, right? Told him, fucking Jerome Corsi. <clears throat> Jerome Corsi's doing the fucking Wayne's World, you know, jumping. He's doing air guitar right now in his, in his, uh, in his apartment, right? If you told it, this is Trump, this is, this is heavy. If you told the truth, you go to jail, Trump said. Ugh. You know, this flip stuff is terrible. You flip. And you lie and you get. Uh, that's Trump blowing a whistle. The prosecutors will tell you 99% of the time they can get people to flip. <clears throat> it's rare they can't, Trump said. Ugh. He's, he's, he's telling you. He's telling you what they do. They present you with a lie. This is the president of the United States saying it. It's not the guy down the block, right? But I had three people. Manafort, Corsi. I don't know Corsi. But he refused to say what the demand, what they demanded. Manafort, Corsi, and Roger Stone. Right? It's actually very brave, he said of the trio. And I'm telling you, this is McCarthyism. We are in a McCarthy era. There is no better than McCarthy. He says everything three times. And that was a bad situation for the country. But this is uh, where we are. And it's a terrible thing, Trump added. Mueller's team has accused Manafort of repeatedly lying to them on a variety of subject matters. Right? That's not, I don't know. I mean, it's not really true. It's like they set it up in a way, well, that's, not, that's not the issue right here. They set up a, a series of events that you, and then they ask, they ask you for 40 hours in a row, and when you contradict yourself, they play the two contradictions. They turn your brain into mush until you, until you, until you purge yourself. On Tuesday night, the New York Times reported that Manafort's lawyer had continued briefing the president's legal team about the evidence Trump's former campaign chairman was given to Mueller. Trump has called repeatedly on Mueller to wrap it up, wrap it up. So this is a great day for, uh, I know Jerome Corsi's got to be very happy about the fact that the president has spoken his, spoken his name in the Oval Office. It's very likely that if push comes to shove, you know, they, you know, because Trump in, in his heart of hearts believes that it's a political witch hunt to get him 
right? To smear him because the Democrats lost in 2016. They got caught cheating. They blamed the Russians. And then they, they ran with the Russia story, trying to put the Russia story on Trump. First it was, for, right? Because they got caught cheating, right? So that, that's, what it's, that's what it's about. And Trump sees it. And, um, you know, but the, the takeaway here is that the Corsi, I mean, they're going to make, they're going to turn Corsi and Stone now into, into martyrs, right? The object, the object here is to, is to stop the momentum of Trump and Corsi and certainly, uh, uh Roger Stone and, and, uh, Alex Jones are for lack of a better term, mouthpieces for Trump. And so I think this is, you know, this is Trump, this is Trump reaching out. Saying, "Don't worry about it, man. Just fucking go. You know, don't take a plea. Don't take a plea. Don't don't, don't take a plea. You fucking don't say you lied when you didn't lie. Good stuff, man." Marcus Conti reporting.